Now to two of the funniest people on TV, Tony Shalhoub and Alex Bernstein, both. Bernstein. Well, Bernstein. Bernstein. No. But I got, did I get Tony's name right? <laughs> My name's the one that usually. Bernstein, I'm sorry. It's okay, Jimmy. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I did that just to set you up. Okay. Thank they you. both scored Emmy wins for their roles in the hit series, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And now it's almost time to say goodbye Why? because it is okay. the 50s housewife turned stand up comic Midge Maisel. Tony plays Midge's dad, Alex plays her manager, and we've got a sneak peek at the final season. Take a look. Why didn't you ever mention Ethan's aptitude test? His what? His aptitude test. They give every child in his school an aptitude test at the beginning of the year. Oh, how'd he do? He failed. They say he has the potential for nothing but happiness. Is that bad? Ethan is a firstborn Weissman male. A firstborn Weissman male is expected to excel. They are not expected to be happy. I'm sorry, just because he's happy doesn't mean he won't excel. Of course it does. Not one person who's ever accomplished anything of worth in life has ever been happy. <laughs> You got a point. Got a point. Hi, guys. Hi. Our two Hi. Emmy winners sitting here with us today I know, from where this are, wonderful show. Where are your Emmys? Can we ask? Uh, my parents have uh, an Emmy, and they have it displayed, and mine is, like, in a box. In a box? In a box. Yeah, in a box. You can't let that stuff, you know, you're, when you're home, you're parenting, you're wiping up <laughs> bottoms, you're cleaning up things. You <laughs> yeah, can't, you, can't you can't let that, let that get to your head. head. How about Tony? Where's yours? Well, which one? Oh! oh. Yeah, drop it! Yes. Drop yes. it! Uh, Drop it. I actually <laughs> had them, uh, you know, like strewn around the house for a while. But then I eventually, uh, through a good friend of mine, advised. I, I sent them all to like a, a historical society in Wisconsin, which is where I'm from. Oh. So if they're at like this kind of uh, Wisconsin. Oh, so people can enjoy them? They'll be in like a display what case. What do you think about that, Al? Wow. What I'm kind about? of jealous. No one, <laughs> no one cares about me in, in Deerfield, now, Illinois. A, a lot of people were saying at the end of this, this is, this is obviously sad for the viewers, but for you guys who become a family, and I wondered who was going to be the one who was going to have the, the most difficult time at the end. We heard there was a bet, actually. There was a bet, yeah. and I cracked first. You I actually did. cried, which is... You know, no one's supposed to know I had a heart. <laughs> yeah. She's had oh, for five years this sort of tough veneer, yeah. uh, you know, and uh, then she crumbled. What did the end mean for you, Alex? I mean, honestly, that day it was just a massive lump in my throat. And you're, 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 it's like being present at your own funeral. Oh, okay. You're like throwing a little bit of dirt on a piece of yourself. And it is painful. It's a breakup. It is yeah. uh, a, a death. It's You're grieving. Yeah. But then... You have this incredible like premiere. We're gonna get to kind of be, come alive again. You yeah. know, it's yeah. like uh... Tony. This show really struck a chord. Yeah. I mean, people have loved it. So it must be kind of interesting. I mean, y'all are doing this crazy thing on Fifth Avenue tomorrow. Yeah. You know, people are so fond of it. Mm -hmm. It must be sort of weird to have this parallel sadness. Mm -hmm. Like the viewers are sad it's over, mm -hmm. and you as a family are probably sad too. We are. We really are. You have two daughters. Was it like giving your daughters away at a wedding? Yes, exactly <laughs> like. That's what it, I yes. feel like that's what it yeah. might feel like, like, where it's you're so happy and you're so joyous and it's so beautiful, and yet you're saying goodbye and you're letting go, and it's yeah. I'm getting it emotional. I can, yeah, it's but, really hard. That's, well, that's so true. And it's also because I think, Alex, your character, Susie, was based on not just what was in your head, but what your where your families yeah, come yeah. from. Oh, you yeah. poured it all in there. Tell yeah. us oh, yeah. how Susie much of... Susie is my grandmother. Susie, both of my grandmothers. Susie is my mom. You know, all of people talk about the 50s show and the housewife, and I never experienced that. Like, yeah. my grandmothers both worked their butts off. My mother worked. Everyone, there she is. Oh, I miss her. Um, that's my mother. Oh, Lord. Oh. Uh, yeah, just really strong women. What women kind of jobs who, did they have? Well, my grandmother survived the Holocaust. Mm -hmm came to the U.S., and she immediately started working sewing wigs. Wow. It was a wig sewer. Wow. And this is one of them right here. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and my other grandmother yeah. was Orthodox Jewish, and they had a little shop, and she swung chickens over her head. Wow. To make them kosher. Wow. Wow, that's a very interesting <laughs> and specific job. Yeah, Google it. Um, you know what's so great is that both of you have some really fun projects ahead, too. Yes. And I feel like sometimes when you say goodbye to something, you need something on the horizon yeah. to look forward to. Yeah. Yeah. You're, first of all, we didn't know you could sing. 
Oh, Every, wow. Yeah. So you're going to be in a musical special, which we're really looking forward to. On, uh, tell us about it. Yes, it drops. That's what the kids say. It drops on April 18th. It is also on Amazon Prime Video. And it is... Uh, it's called Corsets and Clown Suits, <laughs> and I like to describe it as kind of a filthy <laughs> TED Talk with music. <laughs> <laughs> filthy TED Talk with music? Yeah. What kind of music do you like singing? Uh, oh, God, everything. Everything? In the show, we do some covers. There's some 80s nostalgia. There's mm. there's some Bowie. Uh, wow. There's some interesting medleys. And there's a lot of original music, a lot of comedic original songs. It's like a deeply personal wildly fictitious <laughs> journey of my life post-divorce. Wow. Oh, I want to see that. Yeah, we've no, got to watch done? it. Yeah, we're Horses going. and clown Tony, suits. Yeah. And Tony Monk yeah. is coming yes. back as a movie. Yes, a movie for streaming on Peacock. So We're going to start shooting that next month. And uh, be nice. After 14 years, we wrap that show. Is that, is that like you were OCD then? So is it like post-pandemic? What's it going is, well, on for in the, this? For the character, it yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, revisiting <laughs> like this. Uh, not you. We know you <laughs> I am too. Um, but yeah, Monk, uh, having gone through uh, the pandemic, and we find him in not good shape. Wow. Oh, no. But you wait, know, that was 14 years after? So maybe 14 years from now, we'll be doing a Maisel movie. Wait, that, oh. hey, let's put it into the universe, but does it have to before, take 14 no, we years? Don't, we want it before no. then. Yeah, we'll be dead. We heard there's a rumor <laughs> that y'all are, <laughs> there's a rumor y'all are doing a musical. A musical, yeah. Is that no. how? This is how rumors get started. But that, started. I actually started that rumor. I, I'd like to take credit for it. But they asked me on one of the carpets, what would you like to do, a spin-off of this? And I go, oh, you know, I'd love to do a musical. And then the next day, it's like, Borstein, penning musical from Maisel. <laughs> and that's how it starts. I guess. That's how you know, yeah. Oprah says to put it in the universe, so let's do it. We're putting it. All let's right, guys. I'd also like a new car. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. The fifth and final season of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel premieres tomorrow on Prime Video. And you can also check out Alex's musical comedy special, Corsets and Clown Suits. It's the world's best name. It's on Prime Video next Tuesday. How about a nasty TED Talk? I love that. Yeah. I love that with whole... Music. With music. Yeah, don't watch it with your kids. Okay. <laughs>